Hi. Um, so today I thought maybe we could talk a little bit about grief and um, vibration. Because our big project at the Grief House is to help um, sort of liberate grief from the kind of unfortunate little box it's gotten put into, we feel. Um, it feels to us like at some point along the line, somebody decided grief was too like messy and sort of like sticky and oozy and um, unpredictable to just have, to just sort of like let fall from you as it, as it will. And, um, and uh, we started kind of like the suggestion was to put it into like boxes with lids and tuck it places where it wouldn't like get on your neighbor's lawn and you know like like you don't really know the people who live around you and you don't probably don't know the people who like shop with you at the grocery store or you know buy coffee next to you at the coffee buying establishment that you go to and so you don't want to get your grief on them they're like you know they haven't signed up for that so keep your grief in keep your grief tucked away keep your grief in containers our feeling, um, or my feeling, our feeling at this project is um, that it's a it's too bad because, like so many of the things that are vital to life, grief is both messy and um, like gooey and icky and rich and um, fertile and necessary. And it feels like, you know, it's like taking all of your food scraps and like putting them in plastic bags inside of other plastic bags and then carting them to a place for you. It's like, it's true that that, that that's the, that, that stuff can be like pungent and, you know, like, like when it's breaking down, it can have all kinds of different like smells and attract crazy things that we, it's like hard to know how to handle nowadays but like um and you can't just go throwing it around you know you can't just like eat three quarters of an apple and like toss it on the floor in the living room like we're not set up to do that but but you can compost it still like we can get that stuff and turn it into something mm, fertile and useful that we can later spread in our gardens and that's kind of our project that's the idea of the whole project is that we can do that with feelings we can do that with we can do that with our grief and for me the sounds help so much they just help like shake it loose June likes to smell my breath am I gonna use this video I'm not sure probably um so I'm going to do a little exercise that I like to do. Um, it's a tapping and humming, tapping plus moaning at the same time exercise. I like it because I feel like it. it's like, for me, it's like, oh, this is going to like, this is a good way to like, just mm, like in my mind, all of the thicker, all of the thicker, denser feelings can get like stuck to my like insides, like to the to like the walls of things and like inside of vessels and this is like this will like shake it up and make it be able to come like rushing through like flooding out or moving around inside me and get used by whatever it needs to be used by okay so it's just going to be one minute and i'm going to start at our heads and i'm going to do a little moaning with it but i, I encourage you but i'll also be kind of like talking a little bit i encourage you to just like moan the whole time and find the sound like change your moan as you see fit and we're just going to do tapping from the top of our head to our chest and then that's it ready start with the top of your head <sighs> I like kind of like uh, fairly firm taps. Uh, 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 uh. So your whole skull vibrates. Uh, yeah. And then break our hands apart and down. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I like temples. Uh, 
Uh, and then gentle, more gently. And then over your eyeballs. And then harder on your cheekbones. And on your nose bone. Uh, down your mouth. Uh, your jaw. Uh, little fingers. Maybe even like whole fingers. You can do it. And then your neck and the back of your neck. And then my right hand, my left collarbone. Left hand, right collarbone. And your sternum. And then just rest for a minute and feel the shaking. Mm, good. All the parts of you, all the parts of you are necessary and useful. <laughs>